Hey everybody, and today I'm back with Mixelli training. Let's have fun and let's go. And Karma subbed tier 3 for 62 months. Wow. Thank you so much, Karma. Hi. Thank you for 62 months. How are you doing? How are you? Really appreciate the 62 months. I'm good, that is nice. It is just two more days and then it's a weekend, so it is very, very close already. Wait, why didn't I uh, take, take here, here, Ruka 4? Why didn't I uh, wait? No, but hold on, Ruka 4. Ruka 4, Ruka 3. Kinji 1, Ruka 4. If e7, Ruki 4 wasn't this way, then? I think Rook c4 was playable. But I'm not sure. Yeah, bishop c4, rook c1, rook c... wait. Oh! What I made! Not made, I thought that's check. Wow! Double check. Wow! This is very, very brilliant. Wow. Very cool. Yeah, but I think our rook d6 was winning because this is made. So yes, I got rook e2. But rook f4 was winning as well, no? Yeah, Ruka 4 was win as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but that was really nice, mate. 21. So it's a Ultra Bullet. Uh, Queen B1 was made by Tain Ultra Bullet. Just want to play safe. How did this? Okay. White, black, two consists three. They have weak dark squares, but white has double points, which can be weak. So it's interesting. And Panda up to tier 3 for 44 months. Wow, hi Panda, thank you. How are you? Thank you so much for 44 months. Yeah, so this position I actually prefer black because white pawns, I mean, they aren't so good. And dark squares, they aren't really too weak, let's be honest. I got an opening against Vesta, sorry, to his from Brazil. Okay. It's Lucas Marquet Utoti, he's from Rio Grande. Thanks. Aha, G3. Sideline. Night of that chick. Mm -hmm. I don't know, 95, 25, I think it's also an option. But I'm gonna take with night. Hi, hi there, how are you? I'm doing good, thank you. What about you, Night King? Welcome to the stream. What's up? Whoa! Anonymous the Gifter gifted a tier one software community and Setland didn't got it. Thank you so much, Anonymous Gifter. 
and we got a level four hype train wow thank you so much everybody for the support it's huge thank you and news gifter panda and karma goes at settling didn't get this up very cool okay bishop of six i'm not too sure how to play this well thanks someone gifted yeah i don't i think it was an it was an anonymous gift i'm pretty sure an anonymous gift to gift is gift so many subs it's crazy um bishop of five Hi, your chest, what's up? How are you doing? Okay, now do I take with my queen or do I take with the knight? Uh, knight is interesting with e4 ideas, but then it'll get like this, but then I'll get not even sure. Yes, bishop h4, but then I think h6, I'm fine. Uh, queen is also interesting, but then knight h4. Whoa, knight king 250 bits. Thank you so much, guys, for the support. Appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, everybody. Sub gift celebration bit. Thank you so much, Night King. Night King, so thank you. I find you. I'm doing good as well. Thanks, Judge Chess Waskin. Uh, I think let's play H6. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Takes, takes. Shut a lot? Yeah, sure. Why not? But I'm already playing, so maybe next time. I don't see why not, because somebody can technically snipe me and don't tell me they snipe me, you know? So I think it's fine. Yeah, here I thought I'd just go rook a to d8. Just like develop, centralize my rook. Should be quite fine. Wow, an Animus Gifted gifted to tier 1 sub to Alan's Playhouse. Thank you so much, Animus Gifted and everybody. We already like 24% of level for hype train. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Really appreciate it. And thank you for the follow. Wow. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Yoshikatsu. Hi, CPWN. How are you doing, Cpon? Uh, about to beat your last record. Keep up the support. Wow. Wow, guys, thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Are you going to play chess uh, then quick? I don't know. I haven't heard of it, to be honest. To be completely honest. Well, I wasn't planning to, at least today. Are you doing Sipon and everybody? This one's pretty much a puzzle solving competition between streamers for subs. Ah, okay. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. We'll see. Queen and kind of like chess speed running. Okay. Interesting. I think Queen Sun was a must. I could have taken, but I think I'd rather get knight d4 with my bishop still. It's tomorrow. Ah, okay. I'll check it. I'll check it out. For me to win, just see which one. Okay, I don't know, a6 just to make a move, to be honest. He has b, okay, he goes here. Uh, 94? What's his idea? If c3, I get knight b3. If knight c3, I can get like c6. If f4, I guess f4 can be interesting, but maybe queen f8? Or e takes f, queen d7, wait. So this I take, queen f4 and like queen d7. Hmm. Hype train success. 
So I thank you so much everybody for this report in Hype Train. Level 3 completed, 24% of level 4. Thank you so, so much everyone. Really appreciate this support. Uh, I don't know, I'll go 94, it looks interesting. Yo, I got a new emote! Let's go! What is this? Hype ha, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go! I haven't got a new hype to emote in such a long time. Let's go! Did anybody else get a new emote or no? Or was it just me? I have some okay, okay, that is nice. It's very cool. As well, I think if this I can maybe even take an then Queen C5 attacking the pawn straight in like Knight B3. And uh, hold on, uh, Knight King, did you get an emote or, did you, or you did not? Maybe you had them all already, I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, knight c3, so c6, I guess? I don't know. And my pawn hangs. c6 also restricts his knight. I like c6, to be honest, all in all. I don't know why he played queen c1, to be completely honest. Ah, okay, knight e2. Nice idea. Interesting. I'm not sure if I got one. Okay. If not, then Twitch, um, Twitch scam, hype scam. If my if this I'll take with the rook and maybe like rook e d eight f six I don't know something. I just got these cool ones. Yeah, yeah, that is nice. Yeah, because yesterday I got the sub. Yeah, yeah, nice. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, he takes. And I'm just thinking maybe I can actually take with the pawn. I'm not sure. What should I take with now with the rook? It feels like it's more aggressive, you know. Because if I take with the pawns, it's like queen d2, rook e8, it will not be many pieces. Um, and I am decent at grinding out some drone positions, but with a lot of time, it's going to be extremely hard to grind it out. So I'll take with the rook. Plus, I think the position is somewhat risk free. Uh, so I think I should be okay. And finally, I'm not super long time. I usually have like two minutes, my winner is five minutes. Um, but here I'm doing quite all right. Surprisingly. Um, rookie d8 perhaps with f6 or not? Hmm. Sure. E4, nah, e4 doesn't look too good to be honest. Rookie d8, queen e3, f6, c5, c3 is there. Hi, Darko, what's up? They'll train for me too. Nice, nice, nice. How you doing? Hmm. Rookie d8, queen e3, c3. Super annoying. Hmm. <laughs> Great, that is very nice to hear. Unless 
said I'm not long term, I'm thinking for a while. Uh, I think I'm gonna go bishop g4 actually. So I'm not like inviting him to play rook e4. If he'll take d, I'll be fine with rook d8. If bishop e4, I don't know, maybe I'll get like f5 e4, maybe something else. I don't really know because I, yeah, I really like rook e8, but then this queen is three. Ah, pushed my interest away. Made me, un <laughs> made me not interested in this at all. In that at all. Yeah. So it's likely it'll go rookie four. Because as I think I'll just play f6. I'll do my tactic dose for today. See you later. Okay, take care, take care, take care, Darko. <laughs> Hoping to see you later. Take care. Maybe actually after rook e4 I can go f5. I think yes, if he takes now I take, and I already have the e file, and he doesn't have this queen d2. And my bishop is on g4, so if queen d2 I get rook e2. Interesting. He gets f3, bishop h5, queen d2 there. So this, this, take, take, f3, bishop h5 is forced, then queen d2, and then rook e1. So if I if I would take a guess, I think it would be fine. But there, if like rook e3 still attacking this pawn, maybe queen d5 at some point. So I'm not too sure. We'll see. And he's thinking for a while. That is also nice. Okay, even rook e1. Now I think f6 is safe to play. Because c3, I think I just take. And if queen e3, I just take here. And if before I get queen c3. Yeah, as I said, I couldn't go f6. At least I think I couldn't go f6. Uh, because he would get some sort of queen e3 and stuff. Okay, he goes queen here. Uh, now let's go rook e to d8. I didn't want rook e d8 because he would get like queen e3. Sure, he would transpose into something like that, which we have right now. But I like this move order more. Um... Now I gotta think how he will break through. His position is pretty solid. Maybe I can play like queen to b6. Uh, or bishop f5 with the idea of e4. I think I'll play bishop f5. If queen c3, I think I'm gonna take and then rook a4 and then this can be a weakness. Okay, he goes queen e3. His threat is c3 now. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should go queen b5. That's attacking this pawn. And if b4 like queen e4 attacking this pawn, and if b3 queen e5 attacking this pawn as well. So queen b5. I'm pretty sure he has to do something like this. And hold on, but this don't I get queen e5? And a4 queen c3. Isn't c3 a really good square for my queen there? I like it there at least. But I'm not sure if it's very good. Maybe as something, maybe like f4. Uh -huh. or maybe f4 actually. Is there? I'm not sure. If we'll go for it though. No, but that's no, that's not a blunder. I thought this blunder is like bishop d3 or something, but it doesn't because the queen protects the rook. Hmm. F4 is an idea though to keep in mind for sure. Uh, e4, e4 he takes with the bishop, right? Because if this rook d1 I should be winning. Really nice tactic, rook d1, bishop f1, bishop h3, but he takes with the bishop, he should be alright. Uh, 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 uh. His idea is queen d2, is it? Because if queen d2 I can take, take e4. I don't really think it is queen d2. Maybe he wants to move the rook from c1 somewhere. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, maybe rook c1 is his idea, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe I'll just go bishop g6, just like a waiting move. f4 isn't that scary anymore because I have bishop f7, I don't know. I go to rook f1. Okay, now for sure his idea is like f4. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, time is somewhat long, but it's still alright. And still think for a little bit. Not too long though. Rook e8, if f4 I take. If 
22 I take e4 okay they just make it moves okay h4 that should be a fine move but still it's he like it's some sort of a very committal move because you can't uh, undo pawn moves you know because if with pieces you at least can move the piece back and like not act like nothing happened but if you move the pawn can move it back. I think I'm going to go bishop h5. So I'm going to provoke in this, so then I get bishop f7. And then I'd win a tempo. Yeah, but now how do, how on earth do I win this? Let's see, fun part. I uh, think I'm going to create an outside pass pawn. So b5, c, b, a5. Because right now my queen controls a1 square, the promotion square, and his rook cannot go there. Okay, queen c1, nice move. Uh, a5, A4. Oh no. Mm, gotta hurry up. Let's play bishop H5. I'm all either provoking A3 or rook D2, but then I get like rook C8 and he doesn't get queen A1. So it's a very nice move, I think. Just seeing what he wants to do. Uh, I don't know, queen C5. Threatening something, maybe he'll fall for it. And as well, no, he didn't. Okay, now play rook c8. No queen trade after queen e1. It's a positive thing, I think, at least. Uh, if queen e1, I'm. Oh wow! He goes like super defense. No, wait, that just blunders a pawn. This just blunders a pawn. Uh, is it a second pawn? I am pretty sure it is. Okay, mm, let's go rook a3. Fixing his queen there. Well, I'm not... Okay, now queen c3, it's a queen trade. I thought I blundered rook d8, but then queen c3, I have rook c3. And if he goes queen c1 or queen... No. Uh, but this is just rook... This will be rook a1, and then queen b3, I take. And I'll have two pawns. Very, very dangerous pawns. Bishop f7, this pawn is a weakness as well. I think slowly should be good. Yeah, bishop b3. Another pawn gone for him. I think that's a fine move, offering a rook trade and at the same time pinning the bishop if he doesn't. Uh, let's go bishop c4, idea rook a2. Two. Yeah, now we trade rook a2. If he goes somewhere with his rook a8, bishop of one. If we trade, I'm winning. Just game over, I'm pretty sure. Uh, can h7. Okay, let's, let's, let's be safe. His idea is f4. At least if I would take a guess, I think it's his idea. So... Let's see, rookie two. So f4, bishop e4 is in this threat. I don't know. Uh, and now let's uh, let's. Uh, uh, here I don't know. Ah, uh, now I take king g2 e4. Oh gosh. Um. Okay, Blunder. The reinvests are sorry too. Yeah, I don't know why I'm starting to sing for a while. It's the end. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty good game. It's from Brazil. Good game. Um, though I think I could have played faster at the end. I was just trying to make sure everything works. And then eh, I played way too risky, to be honest. But yeah, I just wasn't sure. I really wanted to give him no chances at all. Uh, yeah, Rookie 2 was in X, King G6, GG, thank you. Yeah, that was a that was a good game. Yeah, that was quite smooth. I didn't give him many chances. Uh, and slowly but surely, yeah, it was like slightly better for whole game. Then I created this outside pass and then I went on to win with that. Then he blundered a couple of pawns and I won. Okay, puzzles. GG, thanks Blizzard, thanks uh, Ilarion, thanks Karmar. Thank you guys. Is Chesscom dead again? Don't tell me Chesscom is crushed again. Hmm. Did it actually crush? Okay, I played 6 0 0. For uh, 71 moves, it's quite good, you know? Uh, 
Knight bishop g4, right, with knight f3 idea, and rook e3, I go f5, that's a really nice idea, yeah, because if knight f3, I trade the ducks, uh, light square bishop, I'm just much better, and otherwise f5, I have some good attack, but I, uh, hello, hi, Oracle, it did, just calm, let's go, yeah, let's have Oracle, yeah, maybe, okay, I have to push, I just, like, try to, I don't know why I actually didn't push here, to be honest, yeah, whatever. Then I took, then in blind second pawn. Yeah, maybe I t4, I just want to make it simple. Then, I, yeah, rook e2 wasn't too good. I just king g6, even if he gets f4, I just take any wins. Good that it only costs 99 dollars a year. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm doing great today. I mean, I played a very, in my opinion, smooth game against life opponent. 16 lil for 71 moves. Um, so pretty much we traded many pieces. And then slowly, I somewhat right, I created dark square weaknesses for him, and then I created uh, an outside passer, and then he then just blundered two points, and then smoothly I went on to win. Just logged in, no problems. Okay. Ah! Okay. Watching Danny trying to fix the, the side. Interesting. Ah, so yeah, pretty smooth game, I'm happy. It was already kind of slow, but... It's fine. What what's going on with Chesscom? Oh! I have zero rating! Hey! I have zero rating! Where's my zero rating? Chesscom! My 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 dream rating! No. Oh, okay. Back to normal. <laughs> At the 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 most Hardest rating a human can possibly achieve. Zero. It puzzles. Is it rookie eight? Oh, by the way, what's up, Morgan? How are you doing? I think it's rookie eight. And then queen e3? A zero would have been fun, yeah. Queen e3. Oh, goodness me. Zero would have been very fun. Hmm. Rook did? A bishop d4? Protecting b7. No. Okay. Like Chesscom is like half dead, it feels like. Oh, I got the puzzle with the same rating. I didn't lose rating for failing a puzzle. No, what are you doing? No, my rating. Oh, server cooldown in uh, 36 seconds, 35, 34. 30 second cooldown. Please be patient. I'm, I'm patient. I wouldn't have a training. Your side doesn't let me train. A4 would have been very nice. If he takes queen g3, just crushing him. Okay, 15, 13, 12, 11. Guys, we're, we're, we, we will wait. Let's go, let's go. 8, 7. Just playing leeches. No, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Mm, we'll see what they will do. 3, 2, 1. Puzzleless. I know cool that. All right. Then a change of plans. I plan to play Komodo, uh, but right now I guess I'll play blindfold and then I'll see what I will do. Uh, let's see. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Leeches TV. Play with computer seven. Let's go. Oh, white again. Cool. D four. Uh, no, 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 no. Ne -e. Okay. Good. Knight F three. Yeah, G3. A bishop p7? Isn't d5 the best move? It's not g5, d4 is how you play. Sorry, I'm remembering how I reply, but I guess this is what he plays. I 
93. Take stakes. I pick you the stakes, what's up? Am I playing zero on free roll? No. I'm not. Queen C7, I don't know, but should be two, I guess. To be fair, in FM, yeah, thanks. <laughs> It's a long way to FM to be honest. But yeah, here I am with FM. Team Avengers chess. Yeah. I mean I'm at least I'm not playing in the arena right now to be honest. Maybe six. I was trying to solve puzzles and then Chesscom died a lot of sudden. I might play, okay, good luck if you will. Queen C2, starts in 4 minutes, okay, good luck, good luck if you play. Okay. C5. Mm -hmm. Should be one, perhaps, just to somewhat set my queen free. I think it's okay. Un croissant, or I think un croissant is okay here. What is going on with you, Pushka? Is the best way? Why, why are you acting like every time? Like it's a different person under your account. Thanks for the following, Juicy here, and have fun. I, A. Albenzion, thank you for the follow. It is what it is. It's just a different person all the time. Rook D1 just taking from Rook D1. Yes, okay. Interesting. That explains, explains some things. A different people at a time, okay. All right. Oh, you're the one who beat Magnus, right? And then you beat Hans, or? Or, or, or no? Or did I confuse you, or was it somebody else who's in your account who beat Hans and Magnus ten times and had 5,000? I was Hans to <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Now your stock is level 7. <laughs> oh god. There is some neighbors which like jump, run like crazy and feels like they will fall out on me, or fall on me, so uh, I have to keep that in mind. I have ch ch CC ch changed. Okay, okay. I played 10 Miranians, Hans, he won. Nice, I mean, nice, I guess, that you played him. Not nice that you won. But, okay. Were you ever Magnus? Oh no. No, he was rook c6, okay. A 
Okay, why did you just copy my uh, uh, Wikipedia about me? <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, should I be scared? Should I be happy? What what, what should be my reaction when you just copied the thing from Wikipedia? It's going to be bishop d8. I thought like a4, a5 easy draw, but yes, like rook b1. I'm not sure if it's easy after rook b1. I get knight d4. Maybe it is actually super simple. Um, let's see. All right, then. Let your friend save up channel points and then I'll play him. Because <laughs> rules are for everyone. Um, wait, oh, I have pawn on a2. Oh, okay. I should have played a3 at some point. I think both are scary and happy, yeah. Oh gosh, uh, I'm terrified again. Clones are here. Again, castles in the <laughs> <laughs> Is it about me in Wikipedia? <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean, Piaggio? Castle's rook side. Okay, e4, that's a draw. Draw, 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 draw. You already got your first crazy fun, yeah. And I'm not sure if that's a good sin or, or should I be terrified what will happen in two years. You know? <laughs> I'm not sure if I should be proud of that or I should be terrified for the future. <laughs> you know, that is the thing. I know your future. I hope you don't. <laughs> Or at least if you do, I hope you won't spoil it to me. I'll show you make it 10, uh, 2, I hope so. I hope I'll maximum 10. I hope maximum 10, okay? <laughs> Here. How does Stockfish level 7, uh, the best, uh, you, you say in your Stockfish level 7, right? How does he evaluate the position right now? No, just kidding, it's fine. It's a dead draw. Zero, zero. I go skin of seven with a bit of them. Okay, the wrong. No, the wrong? Are you trying to lose this, sir? I started to actually seven. I think it was 2600 before they removed ratings from engines, if I'm not mistaken. I very well can be mistaken. Ah, G4. Still? Why can't I take? A ah, bishop here. Makes sense! Makes sense! I mean, I clicked... I clicked uh, g3, I meant to click e2. Uh, h2, I mean. Still, though. Isn't this... 26 would be stronger than 26 human. Depends, really. Depends, like, 2600 human, you mean OTB? or like bleeds or bullet it depends on many many factors in my opinion <laughs> will Anna play the cow opening or no if yes then it won't it will be I'll be fine And to be able to say human stronger, only no, yeah. That like also depends, you know? Sometimes computer plays like brilliantly. Uh, like sometimes, right? I'm playing against level 6 stockfish. 
he plays like 55-63-75. Uh, that's like inaccuracy, mistakes, blunders, right? He blunders everything. And the next game he plays like 2-0-0. It also depends on like... Uh, it also depends... Many things. But true, it definitely can happen. It is usually the case. But like, and also like, because chess comp 2600 rated. Unpredictable, yeah. Because chess comp Komodo, right? Uh, Komodo and chess comp compared to stockfish on Legion is like two different things. Komodo is somewhat simple to beat, and stockfish is super hard. Sometimes he still blunders, uh, but it's still very hard. Go around with the king, yeah. Thinking about it. I can never lose this position. It feels like I should be winning somewhere. It genuinely feels like it. But I'm not sure. No, but should be three here. But like, I can't win, can I? There's some trick for sure, yeah. Oh no, my kin. My kin is stuck. Why is my opening helping me? So, question you and should you not maybe a hint? Because don't do you want to lose or what? Yeah, I think I maybe had a chance, but it's like super complex. Um, yeah. It's not really true. If uh, some, yeah, I was a joke. <laughs> and that's Stockfish's son, to be honest. Reveal to you guys a secret. Sir, the best. Can you blunder? Okay. Ah, nasty. Can you, no, not here. Wait a second. Isn't this threat? Chill, dude. <laughs> Yeah, I have a job. Literally, I'm social level 7. And isn't he. He should be. He should be. Okay, at least here was nothing. Oh, wait, there was no. Ah, yeah, once I was winning. It's like so tricky. Like, one time. Alright, I have this and king of 6, yeah? Uh, that was somewhat simple. The, no, wait, not even this? Oh, king of six, he checks me and go there. Okay, I had two chances. 
should have played. I had no time. Oh, yeah, maybe I should have. Yeah, that was stupid of me. I should have, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I was worse here. I was slightly worse. Then it was that draw. Here I had to go for g4 and then go around with my king. Makes sense. Um, here I go for g5. Right, so if he takes, I take and win, and this, this, I'm winning as well. Yeah, that would have been much easier, I think. And this, it was draw. Then he blundered to knight 98 Still, it would be tricky, you know? Uh, this wins, but this is the winning line. And then I go e7, and then I get king f7, or otherwise, I get... Nah, that's tricky to see. Uh, and then I had nothing else. Okay, 2 1 2 for me and 4 nil 3 for him. So g5 and that's it for him. Uh, I don't know, just you know, king h5, bishop c3, just make a move here. Yeah. Uh, king g6. Yeah, I don't know why he didn't go for a drone here. King f8. Alright, it's just not still dead. No, it isn't. Cool. So she's trying to flag in the end, yeah. But I still should have played until one one five one move one five one. Just make some random night moves. Uh because before, like a couple of years ago, Stockfish on move one five one, he resigned. No matter the position. So I just should have tried. Okay, that was a simple puzzle. Mm, I just should have tried. But okay. So Queen of Eight, King of Eight, C eight, King E seven. Rook c7, king f6. e5. And let's see. This, this, oops. This, 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 this. This, 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 this. I take with check, and if king e5, I go queen f5. King d6. Uh. I mean, it should be winning somewhere. I have queen of four, and if queen e5, I have rook d7, and if king e6, I go queen of six. It should be, no? And queen e5? I go queen a6. Yeah, okay. Plus nine, yes! Oi, oi! What is this position? What is this? I have like extra knight and an extra rook. But they haven't developed. And he has like two pawns, a queen and a rook, I and my king. What is this? Chill. Chill, sir. Church is gonna have three? Queen is three check. Maybe. Or knight of three and then this king of one. Typical position. Yeah, happens in every game. <laughs> It is, I think, queen h3 or knight of 3 otherwise it's never winnable. It's not winnable at all. Yeah, that's... that's true, but knights, you're not a noob. Um, but, like, I'm just not sure. Knight of 3 is also good. Feels like, at least, that it's good. Queen h3 and take e3. Aha! Yeah, but king c7, take e3, d take c. How am I stopping him from promoting? I don't know. The, my idea, at least with knight f3, if he takes, now I have castle. Rook eight, queen f2, he made me. So the thing is, if dca castle, I think I should be winning. But if he does this, 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 king f1, let's win as well, no? Castle. <laughs> it's a castle. I really should calculate more, it's fine. And now I think... Uh, King h1 loses to c takes b, this rook e1, I think. Do you think I take f2? <laughs> Puzzles in Ohio. <laughs> what was this? So, you castle, and then instead of hiding, you say, oh well, let me expose my king. Oh well. Castle, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're already gonna make it, but you castle. Oh man. Did I just think? <laughs> Most 
so a puzzle in your heart, yeah. What was this puzzle? I just attack the queen, and no matter where the queen goes, I just tick. I'm surprised the kid moved before and you can. <laughs> exactly! Yeah. Hi, Shark Coco. How are you doing? Exactly, that could have happened. Wait, I, I had this puzzle. Mm, is it rook a? No, it has to be rook h1, I think. Rook h1, queen h5. It has rook. Oh, oh wait, it's rook h2. I had this puzzle, told you. And that was some dumb move, if I can remember. Some completely illogical move. But I'm not sure which one it was. Is this puzzle written painting? Yeah, that's true. That is true. I remember it was like either rookie one or something. I don't remember the move, but it was, it's like rookie one. I was like, why do you even play that? But you can get side of five. I don't remember the solution, to be honest. I remember rook h2. There was some. Uh, I played rook h1, but I had to go rook h2. Mm hmm. Queen g7. Yeah, but wait. Queen g7, what if you just take the knight? That's not mate on d7. And he's threatening mate on my bishop rings. Did I just, like, suck a bishop for no reason? I wonder, or, or am I missing something? This mate in one is scary. Oh, was it just bishop g5? Although it was bishop g5, wasn't it? It was bishop g4! I knew it! Uh. And then knight f5, and then knight, I don't know. Ah, that was a knight g7. I have a completely crazy puzzle. Bishop g5 is nothing, I guess. Whoa, Shinkami zero underscore zero. Thank you so much for uh, service prime for three months. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? Thank you so much for the sub. Yeah, nothing, but queen, queen takes. What do you mean after queen takes? Queen g7, bishop d5? There he is, queen d4, mating one. Uh, I think right now I should just take and play queen of six. Threaten the bishop and the rook. Why, why are puzzles that simple? How is this idiot 200? I wanted to play queen of six first, but then I'm like, oh wait, yes, 94. So I just took c3 and I put it. I it just come. I like easy, I like very easy puzzles. If you don't mind giving me perfect, that is very nice. And thanks once again for the sub. Uh, just come. Uh, easy puzzles are very welcome. You 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 misunderstood me. Easy puzzles, mwah, perfect. <laughs> oh guys, we are here for some fun. Oh boy. This is gonna be fun. So there is like quintillion checks. I have queen e3, I have queen e2, I have queen e3, I have rook e3. Uh, queen e2. Yeah. But queen e2, king b6, rook e6, rook d6. The idea of queen is to protect d6, right? So you can't interfere until 4,000. Not a big problem. Great mindset, Ilarion. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Maybe it's a uh, simple. Ah! Thank you, Chesscom. Thank you. That was actually a simple puzzle. So I check him. If king b6, rook e6, I got d6. And otherwise, I just made him. This queen c5, this third is rook a3. And this rook a3, anyways. Ah! Come on, Chesco, more easy puzzles, let's go! We understand each other very well. I like the connection between us. Hello, Queen H3? I guess if Queen H3, he wants to go Knight F3. Hmm. Queen H3, Knight F3. Rook F3, Queen A1. Yeah, queen h3. Great chess com. I love chess com. Even though it crushes, I love it. It was a secret I was hiding from you guys. 3600 puzzle raging. 
And he just finished researching in mating 1. No, in each one he takes g5, that's the thing. He takes g5 and I don't have mate threat. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But rook f3 this. If queen b1 protecting h7 f f5 and I'm winning. And if this is just block f5. Great job, Chesco. Uh, now, now, now give me this type of puzzles all the time, please. <laughs> so, now, uh, let's analyze again his life opponent. So, uh, he played 10 one nil, quite decent, quite well, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> give him 75, yeah. Uh, and I played 16 nil for, uh, with his 96 accuracy for 70 moves, I'm pretty happy. So, yeah, G3, it's not the main move, but it's quite fine. I wasn't sure how to play, but I was happy with time management this game as well. Because usually I've like, was in huge time troubles, and I'm in good position where I have no time and I'll throw it. A knight of 6 in accuracy, we traded, he was actually the one in time trouble here. Yeah, a queen d1 was a weird move, he had to go c3 computer says, just prevent me from playing knight d4 and there would be just a drone. This he had to go for knight d2, protecting f3, very important square. Because in the game we played knight c3, and I played c6, protecting the pawn, but there was a very nice move, bishop to g4, threatening a knight of c4, right, uh, to the king and the rook. And the thing is, is, uh, say, he takes, 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 um, then even like queen e6, queen h3, his idea is threatening me. Maybe here he has queen e3, so I think I should probably go bishop f3. But yeah, after bishop f3, this I just win a whole exchange, and as I see, he has nothing. Uh, and yeah, here's your rookie 3, then I get f5, queen g5, it's quite a scary attack, and I'm slightly better. So here I go for knight d2, preventing this bishop g4 thing, and it would have been fine for him. And at knight c6, I let the advantage slip. That was up on time, I had uh, four and a half minutes, he had two and a half minutes. Then I liked, look, I really liked how I played, I played queen b5, threatening the pawn, right? Uh, and then after rook b1, if you play rook b1, I was planning maybe like a5 or queen e4 or something. And as he played b3, I played queen e5, attacking another pawn. And now if he goes rook a1, I get queen c3, attacking another pawn. And he has to defend very, un un I think, uncomfortable for him position. But he played e4 and I got queen c3. And now his pawn's all on light square, his bishop is light square. Uh, so my bishop can attack his, and his bishop isn't very good. And um, I also got very good dark squares, you know. Uh, I got very good dark squares. Then I wasn't sure on how to progress forward. Uh, but then I decided to play b5 uh, with the idea of creating a past uh, outside pattern, you know. Because otherwise he has a fortress that cannot really break through. So I, I did this. Here I go for rook e4. Try something because, right, after f3, queen c5, king, uh, queen c5, nice move. I like it mm, because his idea is queen e1 offering a queen trade. Sure, this was possible and then queen c7 or queen c5. But like queen c5 forcing him to go something like king h2. Just as well, so I would just win one of these two pawns because I would discover check. King h2. Uh, then I played rook c8, I had to go for a5, and he made a mistake, he had to go for bishop h3 instead of rook f2. Another idea that I just wasted the tempo, and then he gets either queen d2 or queen e1, preventing a5, and then rook a1, and it's extremely hard for me to break through, and it would be very equal. Uh, but then he made a mistake, and he blundered a pawn, rook d3, he cannot take because his queen would, uh, would fall. He played rook d2, he blundered second pawn by the same thing, because if he takes, I take his queen. He played queen e1 and then rook a3, and queen b2, queen c3. His queen is just boxed, and we traded the queens, and then I won the third pawn. He had to go for rook d8. Yeah, right, maybe I had rook a2 without any risk. King h3, h5 game over, and king h1, rook b2 game over as well. Or rook e2, or rook d2, anything wins. I'm not sure if I'm really happy with how I realized. Z position, sure, I play well. Here I just had to go for king g6, uh, and slowly but surely just win, he has nothing. Because rook e2, he had like h5, and then my king is somewhat stuck. Sure, I'm completely winning, but he gets some chances at least. Uh, but okay, he played rook d7, then I played rook e3, I won a pawn, this rook d3, and here he blunt a rook, and also thought a lot about rook e2, which was a great move. Mm, this is this, and then I went on to win another investor, sorry. Too. So, quite happy with the game, didn't throw the advantage, uh, very happy to be honest with how I played, very, very risk-free position once again, you know, I just got a position 
where I cannot lose and the only thing uh, I can do is just either if I'm scared just go for a draw or slowly but surely push. And then I push and then, oh wow, I just realized I got three in a row with black, but okay, it's fine. Um, and pretty much, yeah, I just pushed and I just won. As simple as that, to be completely honest. It's a two-day break. 22nd, ah, there was where OBS crashed. Wait, there's a three-day break. Wait a sec. Uh, 14th, uh, 14th was Wednesday, Thursday, uh, Friday I did Puzzle Storm, then this, then Title Tuesday and this, okay, makes sense, and here was Weekend, yeah, did I play against KDB, okay, right, against KDB I played well, Falcon, yeah, yeah, that's where I was lost, and then I was, I didn't win it, I'm just checking. Sometimes it's cool, you know, just to check how you played uh, against Axel. All right, there was this Catalan the draw. It's one of the yikes. It was bad. Here I are grinded the draw. All right, this was the searching year old. I was winning very no time and I draw. Then this was a smooth game. Yep. This was this one. Yeah. Uh, this was where I was lost, but then I found blundered. Uh, oh, this was previous, yeah, the, I was also super happy with this game. It was like another very, very thematical game. Because I, I just got control of the dark squares, like right here. Uh, and then slowly but surely I went on to win. Somewhat barely, but still I won. I mean, I was completely winning, I just somewhat messed up. Um, yeah, pretty much, yeah. So, Quite thematical, and today something similar happened with this queen e5, queen b5, queen e5, you know, when I just got, I just got no risk position. So, g3, yeah, it's not the best move, so I would actually mark it as an inaccuracy, because he, he pretty much, he isn't just completely fighting for any advantage, completely. Um, okay, yes, there was inaccuracy here, go for a3, mm, and then b3. Oops, that's not a brilliant, of course, but like B3 idea, and we should be too perhaps threatening this, you know, so it's interesting. But A3 would be slightly better, because uh, he took, I took um, this, this, and yeah, I just got no risk position, pretty much. This was an inaccuracy, I'd go for C3, preventing knight D4, and then idea is like, be here, maybe this, maybe queen a4. It's interesting and it would be equal pretty much. Um, a6 was inaccuracy. I had to go for b6. And now if c3, I go queen d7, queen a4. The thing is I prevented um, b6 defense this important square. So now he doesn't have uh, knight c5. And this, this, I'm just slightly better. Very cool. Queen c1 was saying actually he again had to uh, protect this square and it would be equal. Uh, yeah. Unless more than you play. That is important, yeah. That is uh, improving, yeah. That is true. No, but I'm actually not analyzing more than I play. I played for like 20 minutes, I'm analyzing for like 10 minutes. Uh, so, uh, no. Depends on the game though. Uh, yeah. Also, why is strong? Yeah, because analyzing is really important. If you want to improve, just analyze. 93 was a mistake. Yes, he had to go for 92. Mm, pre protecting a very important square. Uh, still, I would go this. He cannot take because uh, that's a mistake because I get c6 or like queen c5. Oh, wow! Queen c5 with the idea of c6 and queen c2 attacking this pawn. And if he does something, I get c6. And otherwise, I take c2 and I'm better. Very cool. Uh, and if bishop g4, he goes like bishop f1? What is the point? Prevent 92. Oh, wait. But after he takes, I just have... Right. Queen c5 also 92 is a threat. Yeah, I'm just completely better. So he has to go bishop f1, preventing this. Uh, queen d7 with the idea of f6, and it would be slightly better anyways. Um, and c6 was a mistake. I just protected the pawn by the really nice move, bishop g4. With this threat, either this or that. Uh, and now if rook is 3, I go here uh, with ideas of like, I don't know, queen g5, f4, you know, pushing, 
maybe even g5 uh, and it would be better uh, like f3 bishop h5 knight c2 queen c5 right that's what i was somewhat imagining computer says it's plus 1.2 right because i get rookie 3 i calculated that rookie 3 king f2 and then i get important move f4 and i'm better that makes sense uh, and bishop g4, bishop b7 is a huge blunder, uh, a mistake because of nice move, bishop f3, take, take, uh, and then knight e1, I wait an exchange and I'm better. Uh, where, did I where did I calculate it? I think later. Yeah, uh-huh, 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 rook e2, here, yeah, it was a drone, maybe c6 after bishop b7. It is a nice move as well, right? Yeah, don't get me wrong, it's a nice move. Uh, c6, so he takes, and then like f5, creating an attack. Really nice idea as well, because the bishop, look, the bishop is just dead here. He can even bring it back. Really important, my knight blocks the pawn, uh, so the bishop can go back to defense, and I'm much, much better. The only way he can protect the king is knight uh, here, oh my goodness, knight here and there, but still I'm just much, much better. Really nice idea as well. Um, yeah. But okay, 92, then he was very drawn for a huge amount of time. Queen b5. I was just trying to create a weakness and it somehow, in my opinion, paid off. Uh, this was an inaccuracy. He had to go for queen e2. So b5, I would get... He would get queen h5. And then queen moves like queen here. Or even f4. Uh -huh. So I should go here, this... And yeah, it would be equal after like queen of five. Makes sense. Because this, apparently, yeah, bishop g6 wasn't a good move. Thank you for the follow. Enjoy stay here in a fun sc6. Thank you for the follow. What should I have done? Okay, yeah. There was a next say exactly. I should have been b5 most likely. Um, because when I played b5, when I played b5, he got this queen c1, queen a1, right? Getting two important square. He got this rook e1 and queen c1. But here he doesn't get this, and it's definitely a better position for me here. Because if he takes, takes, this a5, oops, no. Something like this. And I'm slightly better. Did you do one VS? No, sorry. Yep, congrats be, this is for being better than me. Congratulations. Wait, h3, a5. I'm fine with you being better than me, because there's many people who are better than me. Mm -hmm. So, Rokovan, Rook E8. Yeah, I, I didn't see B5 yet. I was just, like, making some moves. Uh, so far, I was just making some moves. But... Then, yeah, Bishop G2. But then I understood that if I want to win, I have to go B5. And my phone is better than you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, there's so many more people better than me. Of course. It's, just, it's pretty much just everywhere. There is, like, nobody... There is pretty much... Just one person who is who is better than everyone. That's Magnus. It wouldn't this be city fault? No, it wouldn't. Yeah, so pretty much BFF was actually somewhat... I mean, it wasn't an inaccuracy. Uh, but there was an interesting idea with bishop h5, bishop g6. I get the same position, and then I get, like, a5 this. It was interesting. Um, point is 2400. Good job. Good job. Um, yeah, maybe he should have taken. Computer says, um, he had to go queen d2. Hey, Jundi, thank you, thank you. How are you? Take, take, and then I would go e4, but then rook fd1. I calculated something like this, and then computer says this, bishop c2, and pretty much take, take, b4. Yeah, that's a pretty drawn position. Uh, okay, c takes b. That was an accuracy. He once again had to trade the queens off. Uh, with the idea of rook a1 and then like queen a5 and it would be very equal, I have no chances pretty much. Bishop h5, f3. That was a mistake. Uh, he had to go for once again queen d2. If I move my queen, say he gets rook e4, that's equal. And if I... And, and if rook c8, he takes, takes f3. What do you mean by f3? He played f3, what do you mean? Yeah, sure, you're better. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. 
Still would be, be slightly better here, but maybe more chances. Spring good nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, 25, nice move. Rook C was a mistake. Uh, I have had to push because Rook on C8 was a weakness and it would be better. Uh, Rook F2 was a mistake from him. Yeah, he just had to go for Bishop H3, forcing my Rook back. But then he would get like Bishop of 5 you know, and then like Queen A1 and like Bishop E4. It would be equal. It would be an equal position because Rook F2 was a bad move. He also blundered Rook to D3. He blundered the pawn. Then this, he blundered second pawn. Then this, this, Queen C3, a Queen trade. Actually, that was an inaccuracy. Uh, a really nice move was e4 with the idea of e3 or this, and I'm just completely winning. I was winning nonetheless. Uh, the only thing I was not happy was rook e2. That was a mistake. I'd go for just king g6, so like anything would win, or maybe even like h5, just completely winning because I gave him some chances and I shot for a really long amount of time. Uh, this is this e4 though, bishop d4, rook d3, this, this, and this is this, and then. I went on to win on the West Sassori too. He's from Brazil. I'm quite happy with the game. Quite quite positional with no risk. I went on to win quite quite simply. This and this at three or two already. Yep. Let's quickly analyze the game stockfish, like briefly. Uh and then I'm gonna end the stream. Okay. So yeah, in the end stockfish oh wait, let me turn off blindfold. Uh, in the game against Stockfish, it was 2 on 2 for me, 4 nil 3 for him. So, yeah, knight b3 wasn't good, I had to go knight c2. Knight c2 is just a better, c2 is just a better square for the knight. And then I get knight e3 and perhaps going to d5 even. This is his here, go for bishop b6, pre preventing like c4. Because really, the thematic idea was c4, and then get like rook c1. Queen a4, queen c2, and then I sack a pawn, but then I get like very active pieces and it would be equal. Still, it was fine. Yeah, it was like slightly better here. Rook c6 was the next here, go for king e6. If king e6, I planned bishop d6. Was it bad? Yeah, I wasn't sure about this. Uh, most likely he's slightly better, but would have been fine. Okay, king e6, I should go rook d1. Uh, and then still it would be, should be still holdable. But okay, I played rook c6. This is this. It was fine, then king e7 was a blunder, he just had to make any move like bishop c5, just hold. Uh, because king g4 was a mistake, I had g4, and then going around the world with my king. Uh, and is it table? No, it's still, it is 8 pieces, it's too much, right? And I'm apparently winning. What if he just stands though? He's right in time. Yeah, I still should be winning. No way he can do anything. And then I just get this uh, pawn and I'm winning. Yeah, nice idea. Just go in. Really nice king walk. You go g4 and then king there, king here, king b5. And then you use your knight. Get in. No, no not this, not this, not this. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, knight of eight here. You get the pawn. You check him. You get your king even further. Then check him once again. Get your king even further. And like that, you slowly will win. Um, okay, I made a mistake. Bishop G1 was a blind go for king G6. Yeah, I got king of five. I just should have allowed that. I don't know why he didn't want to draw, to be honest. He just draw. Uh, king G6, three fold. This, uh, he drew for bishop D4. He took, took. And here, a nice move, G5. And I have takes, I have G, G takes H. And then knight 3 I move my knight, I'm winning. Uh, uh let's go, yeah, yeah, thanks, Trendy. And if he takes, I go g4, uh, pawn hangs, and if bishop f4, I just go knight c7, uh, the king moves, knight e6, king h6, and then I win, then I just win other pawn, you know? He moves, I go here, then I win this pawn, then I'll win that pawn, two pawns is way too simple to win. Uh, and if he defends this, I still take, and if he, then I should win. If he tries to defend the pawn, I promote the pawn. If he tries to go here, I take the pawn. That was simple. Win? Yeah, really nice. Mm -hmm. I played king e5, he was very drawn, but then king e7 was a blind, I'd go for king of 8 uh, I had knight c8, and if he goes king d8, I have e7, this king of 6 I'm winning. But if king e8, I go king of 6 this is this, then I get e7. Uh, so... If you would move the bishop here, I would win the pawn. Or if he goes there, I get e7. This. 
and then I get king g7. If the bishop moves, I once again take the pawn. If the bishop moves here, I get king f6. The idea is knight d6, e8. And if this is, yes, so that I'm winning. Uh, and otherwise, king g7, yeah, king d7, I get king f7, and I'm completely winning. Then knight c4, and then the game was drawn. I tried my best, but I couldn't. Though, uh, yeah, I should have probably made like 30 more moves, just some knight pre-moves pretty much. Just pre-move anywhere with my knight to go to 150 first move uh, because maybe he would resign by mature but it's still fine a draw yeah i had chances but it's still good so i'm gonna wrap the things up thanks everybody for watching things have come up for 62 months at tier 3 and panda for 44 months at tier 3 as well then animus gift a gift at a tier 1 sub to community and settling in got it then we get hype train then night kinney to 50 bits then a news gift to gift it up to Alan's Playhouse. Then hype chain level 4, 24% be completely level 3. 4 gifted subs and uh, 50 bits. Thank you so much, everyone. And then Shingami underscore underscore zero underscore zero subbed for three months with Prime. Thank you so much, everybody, for the support. Take care, everybody. I really hope you had fun and some entertainment. I'll rate Andy. Uh, everybody, go ahead. Oh, maybe I'll rate Art Vega. Uh, Everybody go ahead and join the Discord and I'll make some banner stream and wall stream. Uh, by to Blechik, by Jundi, yeah, stay cool everybody. By to Blechik, by Jundi, by Leo Pair, by Karmar, by 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 Alan's Playhouse, by C uh, SC, by Biagio Biagin, by Meshki, by Ilarion, by uh, Shingami, by Shah Koko, by Dream uh, Stream X, by Peshka is the best, by Peshka is the best, by Dream Stream X, yes, by Nikini 2, and uh, pretty much everybody, by Lorgan, by Peculiar States, by everybody, by Oracle Vid, by Chess Blizzard. Take care, everybody. Have a great, have a good one, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.